but the others didn't either. I wasn't able to. And the car fell down the hill. And people in the car just drove away. I was a bit injured, I was just, I was nearly fell all the way down, and I realised what has happened. They were dead, they were fucking dead. But, I've always blamed myself for that. Because of what I did to those people. Those fucking stupid crap people. Had to ruin everything. Always fucking promising I'll never do it. Is that why you became a security guard? Because you felt like you had to, like, be a part of the law after you, after you fucked up so badly with the with the crime. Like you that, felt. And I needed money, but that was the main reason. It's just, there's a misconception that people think I killed them on purpose. That's just not fucking true. And I don't care if anyone doesn't believe me. That doesn't change in my life. I don't care if you don't believe me, but now you know what actually happened. If you don't believe it, then sh sure, don't, I fucking care. If you do believe it, then good for you. I gotta ask, do you still care about your kids? They, you still raise them, don't you? Yeah, I can tell you do. And I bet you just hate your father because do you feel like he he is a, he he you hate him for being an idiot and you feel like you needed him? Let me guess, he wasn't very good at comforting you when it all happened. <laughs> Yeah, and the main reason is because he thinks I killed him. He's the one who started the man. I don't Let me know guess he you... didn't trust you because you were part of crime or something. Yes. He yes. started the rumour, is that what you're trying to say? Yes. And that's before you've heard him say on a stream that I've done something to her. But that's just not fucking true. So... What about Croissant then? Do you just kind of just hate your own blood now because you feel like you can't, you feel betrayed by them? Or is it because you just. I just lost the care for everything. Because when I did end up getting control, I felt, I felt good. And this was a few years back. But the fact is, is I'm just not a good person. So I just fucked up and did terrible things. And just failed again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. Knuckles, please. Sorry. Listen. The good thing about fucking up is that oftentimes it teaches us what not to do next time. I don't care how fucking broken or how fucked how just how much you've messed up in the past. I honestly still think that you can you can change for the better after this. And the perfect prime example is right there, Eggman. If he can do it, you can definitely because he and is. The fact is, I can. You can. He changed. He did. And he he's the same. He felt neglected by his own family. He 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 lost hit the love of his life and he and then when he got power, look at what he did. He was doing everything for himself. You're the same as him. And look what he became. You You're this you are literally how he was when he was evil, Dr. Robotnik. You can change. 
the proof is right there. He never believed it. He didn't even bother thinking about the possibility. He just felt he believed who cared because no one cares about anyone in the world. Everything is just about what you make the world be. That was his philosophy, and it's the exact same as you. But look at him now. When he was in charge, he made the world happy for everyone. And he made the world beautiful and amazing. You can do the same. And I completely, 100% believe in you. Sometimes family can let you down. It just happens. Sometimes you can even let yourself down, but you always, there's always the potential. Okay. You can. And I completely believe you can do it. 